And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor. Everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD? Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Don't waste time beating yourself up about it, Lucius. Let's just focus on fixing it. Right, right. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord. That would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're onto him. Cobblepot doesn't know we're onto him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate, so the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city, or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way?
tonight, Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. Don't screw this up, Harvey. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, of course. Of course it was the right thing to do. I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Bit of a strange place to hang out, isn't it, Dent? Oh, Batman. What a surprise to see you on my roof. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? What are you gonna do? You gonna break my legs? <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. If it comes to that. You think that even comes close to what you let happen to my face? <sighs> Funny. I would have thought that this Wayne situation would be a little... Beneath you, Batman. After everything Bruce has done, why should I do anything for him? You're losing your mind, and everyone can see it, Dent. You want to save me? I protect everyone. Oh, is that so? Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Jesus Christ! Oh, man. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you, seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. Doing this, you're no better than the children of Arkham. You're worse. No, I'm saving Gotham. I doubt the police would see it that way. The police? Oh, the smart ones already answered to me. Otherwise, well, I think Gordon is already a perfect example of what happens to the not-so-smart ones. Bet he wishes he had just handed over the location of the drug stockpile when I asked. What did you say about Gordon? Where is he? Getting what's coming to him. You're so full of big scary talk. If you want to save this city, this is how you have to do it. Tell me where he is. Now! <laughs> You're too late, Batman. By now, he's just another corpse in Crime Alley. Back off of Wayne, huh? <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is do- 
Batman! What a mess. Thank you, Batman. Say the thanks, and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs, the location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. Calm down, Gordon. Uh, calm down, he says. Two of my own officers were just about to execute me. A whole department of rats, and you're pointing a finger at me. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive, and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Executions, martial law. I know. I always considered him my friend, but he's past saving. 